Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Nash from Tesla and Lagong. One more software update is upon us. This is 2022.5.5.5. It seems like only a few days ago that we got the .5.3 update and now we've got .5.5 and an important feature has been enabled in our Australian cars at this time and that is a very important step in my opinion. And that one is the cabin camera analytics. Now let's go through the release notes and find out what this is all about. It says that uh, cabin camera when activated uh, will help Tesla improve the intelligence of features that rely on the cabin camera by sharing analytics uh, from your vehicle. When enabled, the cabin camera data will be shared with Tesla if the, ex if the vehicle experiences a safety critical event like a collision or if the cabin camera functionality requires diagnostics to be performed. Now, uh, this uh, data includes shot cabin camera video clips to help us further develop future safety features and software enhancements such as collision avoidance updates. And as usual, you can adjust your data sharing preferences by tapping on controls, software, data sharing, and allow cabin camera analytics. And now this is the important thing that, that we have to know that uh, it says that note, cabin camera images and video clips will not be associated with your win number to protect your privacy. So that is important. The next feature in this update is the regenerative braking in autopilot. We did test this out on the 4.5.3 update as well. Uh, the video is there in the description of this video as well as in the top right corner or you can check my playlist of uh, autopilot as well as model 3 to uh, view that. Now the next one is the car colorizer. We did see that in the previous update as well. Now this is a bug fix to uh, to further improve this. Uh, as you can see in, in my case I have sort of used a, a metallic white uh, to, <laughs> tone in my car. This is not the usual white. We can actually change that and it, you can see how the normal white would be. This is a metallic white. And uh, we did discuss as to why we uh, wanna want something like this. In my case, I have a, a sort of uh, modified my car extensively. I do have the uh, yoke steering wheel. I have these carbon fiber trims. I have the extra uh, screen and uh, I have my electronically operated frunk as you can see there. So I have extensively modified my car and for people like us who like to modify the car this is an extra value added feature in my case i do have a long range tesla model 3 so my wheels are not black but i'm, I'm just looking i'm looking to see how this would actually look uh, and that is why i have put this on you can actually go there and change that even before the colorizer came because eventually i want to buy uber turbine wheels not the tesla ones but third party ones and we'll have a video of that as well now do look out for some interesting videos that are coming up in my channel one where your tesla model 3 may have some features in common with the tesla model x that is coming in my channel very soon so do subscribe to my channel and click on that bell icon to get notifications of my videos as soon as they drop now saving the uh, dash, cam, dash cam clips i did bring that down here so all you need to do is tap on that and that will uh, save the dash cam clips when you're driving so uh, so that is a handy feature so the most important uh, feature like uh, we talked about is the um, uh, uh, camera cabin uh, sorry the cabin camera being activated and this is a precursor to uh, you know feature uh, features coming up in our Tesla's particularly the uh, FSD beta uh, and Tesla obviously we know Elon Musk has told this many times that he wants to have a steering wheel less car in the future so this is sort of a first step towards that now let's do the customary Tesla autopilot challenge and in this particular case, I have an interesting route planned and I'm hoping that you guys will like this. We're going to try and do sort of a hilly terrain uphill as well as downhill to see how Tesla Autopilot fares in this. One more video is dropping on my channel this week and that is Tesla Autopilot working in the rain. So people have asked this question before. I have that video dropping as well. And as soon as that drops, I will link that in the description of this video as well, uh, as well as it'll be in the top right corner over here. So do check that out. Without further ado, let's do the Tesla Autopilot Challenge. I have made a small adjustment in the camera placements in this particular video. So do comment on that and see if you like this particular camera placement better than the previous. Let's do this. All right, very quickly before we start the uh, Autopilot Challenge, this is where the internal camera is. Some of you may not know, and that is where the internal camera is. And to activate that, you need to go into, uh, into settings. You need to go into software. You swipe up and then you can see data sharing you click on data sharing and it says 
um, I have already agreed to uh, agreed uh, that Tesla can collect my data. Um, agreed to collect the data. Yes, uh, allow us to collect the data uh, and um, submit. I'm just going to see where the yeah. So cabin camera. Uh, that is the cabin camera analytics uh, uh, blurb. You can read it. That uh, you can read that. I trust Tesla. So I'm going to click on yes, and then you click on submit. So the cabin camera is now activated. Elon, hi. All right, here we are. So in an incline, autopilot is always a little hesitant to, to activate, uh, as you saw there. Okay, that was a little close to the line there, isn't it? Okay, okay, let's keep, okay. <clears throat> autopilot does not want to do that, so I had to disable that. So in an incline, autopilot is always a little tentative. Um, uh, let's put uh, Dapto so that it follows the route. Dapto Mall. Yeah, let's do that. Um, yeah, there is a, a um, traffic light there. I had to press on the right stop for the car to go. Here it's not too bad, but uh, I specifically chose this uh, spot because there's a lot of incline as well as uh, steep uh, climb downs. Um, so I wanted to test if Autopilot will do this. Okay, not bad, not bad. I thought it will not negotiate that, um, that turn very well, but it did. So we'll go down this. Uh, road okay I'm reasonably impressed with this one I thought it will it may struggle here as well it did go on the reflectors but uh, um, not by much that's not too bad okay I am in control I will take over at any moment if the, if the car is doing anything funny I am really impressed I did not expect the car to do that either okay that's pretty good that's pretty good um, now this may be a bit of a challenge Yeah, just a wee bit. Okay, that it won't do. Okay, that was a too fast a of a of a turn there, and it didn't do that one bit. So, so that's that. That's that. <clears throat> like, like, maybe if I let it do, it may have managed it. But I was a little, uh, you know, I was worried because there was a car coming on the opposite side. Uh, I did not want to intimidate them, so that's why I took over. But uh, so far, so good. Let's try and do the the reverse. Let's go down this road and see if the, the car would do that uh, that's what i'm going to try and attempt now uh, let's see if that works all right then so we have done a quick u-turn and then we're coming back to the same road so we're just going to retrace our steps or retrace our path so to speak um there are cars on either side if uh, there is any problems i'm going to take over right away i'll cut the okay it does not reach the optimum speed okay now this one is super scary you see it's it's downhill the car is ever so tentative it slowed down although it's a 50 kilometers road um okay i'm ready to take over this was very impressive i really thought the car will give up and i had to take over to do something really crazy it did not do that it actually reduced the speed a little bit and uh you know um it's pretty good it's pretty good it's going close to that line but even so it's it's reasonably safe there now this one i wonder if it will uh, manage this at all oh wow that is super impressive wow that is super impressive isn't it okay i did not expect the car to do that okay okay this one okay the car has slowed down a little bit it's going a little close to the line but even so right that's this is brilliant so this was a, a reasonably sle a steep uh, uphill climb it went a little close to the median there but it still managed that and it saw the the lights and that's why i had to press the right stop to go past okay okay now i must say it is not very human uh, in the way it is it is doing the autopilot driving okay there are people in front and uh, i'm going to stop that and take over uh radio okay let's do this again let's see if it go it'll go down so okay it's it slowed down a little bit didn't didn't try to you know uh, go at the uh, full 50 kilometers an hour uh, and I just want to do this one last test. There is a, a sort of a, a, a speed bump there. Will it slow down? No, it won't. It didn't even recognize the speed bump. So I took over. I did not want the car to go super flying here. So uh, this is a short um, 
autopilot challenge unlike the other autopilot challenges but i, I hope that uh, uh, this this was some in interesting information that we got out of this one. Uh, we did glean some interesting information, uh, you know, uh, uh, with regards to uh, inclines, steep inclines, steep uh, uh, descents. So um, that is interesting. That is interesting, isn't it? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. What has uh, what have uh, your uh, autopilot um, challenges been? Uh, now this is not like the. Uh, the Californian, uh, what is it, Boulevard, I can't remember the name, the name should be here, I'll leave it here, uh, with, with those twists and turns, but even so, uh, I'm, I must say, this was this was our answer to uh, the Californian uh, Boulevard, I suppose. Um, but um, all in all, uh, I'm, I'm uh, reasonably impressed, I've never done this before, I was, I've always been a little uh, worried to do this kind of a test, uh, with multiple inclines and multiple bends on the road, but uh, Autopilot seems to... Um, seems to be okay in this in this instance, isn't it? Um, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, now, if you're on the lookout for a Tesla of your own, uh, you could try before you buy. I do have one of my cars uh, in ev.com.au, uh, but you can hire uh, other cars from ev.com.au as well. Uh, and if you are the uh, first-time customer, you can use my code Tesla Gong to get twenty-five dollars off of your first uh, hire. Uh, do try out a Tesla of your own before you buy. The Model Y is right around the corner. There are lo loads and loads of other EVs on in EV.com.au as well, so you can try them out as well. I'll see you guys in another interesting video very soon. Please click on that like button and subscribe button, and also click on that bell icon to get notifications of my videos as soon as they drop. Um, I'll see you guys very soon. Until then, this is Nash from Tesla the Gong signing off. Peace.